This is Zix Mausoleum, the burial site of Nigeria's first president, Dr. Namdi Aisekiwe, in his hometown, Obuabo village, Onicha, Anambra State. The building is a multi purpose one and consists of a museum housing six graves and an administrative unit on two floors. The project was first awarded in 1996 after his demise on May 11, 1996, at the age of 92 years but was later abandoned by the contractor and the government therein. It was later re-awarded in 2013 to a French construction company, but not much was done on the project 21 years after, until the present administration led by President Mohamed Buhari took over the mantle of leadership, completed and inaugurated it on January 15, 2019, three years after he assumed office. Dr. Namdi Aziki, were popularly known as Zik of Africa, because of his contributions to Pan-Africanism and fight for Nigerian independence in 1960, was the premier of Eastern Nigeria from 1954 to 1959, first president of the Senate of Nigeria, 1st January to October 1960, and then governor general of Nigeria from 1960 to 1963, before he became the first civilian president of Nigeria from 1963 to 1966. Stakeholders commended the Buhari-led administration for doing the needful in the completion of the project and inaugurating a committee to maintain and manage it in line with the global best practices. The mausoleum will turn into a history that can never be taken away from Zik, can never be taken away from Anambra, can never be taken away from Onicha, where Zik was born. Zik is a legacy. Zik is an idol. He is a colossus, can hardly die. As long as uh, Buhari longed to become president, and it was Buhari who eventually finished the construction of the mausoleum. Beautiful. The talk started long ago, but today it's coming true. That is something that will be talking for him. Very good. Fantastic. Onitra people are happy. Obosi people are happy. Asaba people are happy. Anambra people are happy. It's a very laudable project. The federal government has done well, especially the prison regime. Since 16 years ago, this project started. But the prison regime completed it and accomplished it. So they are wonderful. And I must say, it is a very fine thing for them to have immortalized a well respectable person, in person of Zeke's of Nigeria, and Africa indeed. They also urged the government to pursue policies and programs that are in line with Zeke's vision of Pan-Africanism in his outlook. The great Zeke left a lot of great legacies. One is very accommodative. He has passion. He has an open-door policy. This is a person that he is not too selfish. He likes everybody, he accommodates everybody. He wants everybody to grow. So people should emulate this pattern of politics. One would recall that at a point in time in the political arena, Zeke and the least you could think uh, political party got married. And he said it was a marriage of convenience because it would be convenient for Nigeria to go on that way. They were thinking big. They were thinking Nigeria. Zeke, Sarauna, Awolowo, they've done their bit. They've played their role. They are out of the stage. The new leaders we have continued to have after them should have improved on the legacy or legacies that these honorable men had left behind. They further advised the people to emulate the principles of mutual and human development, which Zeke prominently stood for. In Onicha, Dora Enwe, NTA News.